Lesson 2. The Circulation of Blood. By the end of this lesson, you should describe how blood circulates in the body. When you place your finger on your wrist, you will definitely feel your pulse or heartbeat. It is a sign that your heart is healthy and alive. The function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. In the previous lesson, we looked at the composition of blood and its functions. This lesson will focus on how blood circulates in our bodies. Your heart is connected to arteries and veins. These are called blood vessels. Your heart beats to pump blood around your body. Blood travels through arteries and veins. Arteries are the main tubes that carry oxygen-rich blood from the left side of your heart to your body. The arteries divide into smaller and smaller branches. The smallest arteries are called atrios. Atrios turn into tiny blood vessels called capillaries. Oxygen and nutrients are delivered to your body through capillary walls. You should note that capillary walls are very thin and so they allow substances to pass through them easily. Waste products pass through the capillaries through capillary walls in the opposite direction to be transported away by the blood. The capillaries gradually join up with each other to form large vessels called veins. The blood flows back through the veins to the right side of the heart and is pumped into the lungs. The blood collects oxygen in the lungs and then returns to the left side of the heart, completing its circuit. Each drop of blood passes through the heart twice. First, it collects oxygen from the lungs and then delivers it to the rest of the body. For this reason, the human blood circulation is called the double circulation. Activity 1. Name the organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. Two between arteries and veins, which group of blood vessels carry blood from the heart to the body. Three, describe how blood circulates in the body. And four, define double circulation. Summary The lesson discussed and described how blood circulates in our bodies. It also stated that the heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. It further mentioned that arteries and veins are called blood vessels and they are connected to the heart to help in the circulation of blood. Lastly, it highlighted how nutrients and waste products are transported through blood.